guys, my name is Tessa and welcome to my channel. Today we are in the kitchen because I am wanting to do an experimental recipe that I've never had before or I don't even think, I can't even find a recipe on it on the internet, but I do know there is the non-vegan version of it, but we are going to be making vegan loud sausage. I'm obsessed with Lao sausage, the only thing is, I am really trying to reduce my animal product intake by almost completely none, or at least be fully vegetarian. And so, instead of going out and eating at one of my re favorite restaurants there, I decided to pick a, up a package of plant-based sausage, and the least one, like the most basic one I could find is Italian. So I got that, picked up some kaffir leaves, I think that's how it's pronounced. Could not find lemongrass anywhere. They were out of a lot of their produce, so they didn't have lemongrass and they needed Thai chilies, which they had like a large bag of Thai chilies that were dry, but I didn't really want to buy that large bag because I don't think I would have ever used it all completely. So I got um, some Thai chili sauce that I get from my favorite restaurant. And I also have whole chilies. They look almost like Thai chilies. I'm not 100% sure if they are Thai chilies. It just says red chilies, so. I also could not find lemongrass stalks anywhere. And so I picked up some of this lemongrass paste. So that should work and we have shallots as well. We are going to get started. I'm exhausted from trying to find just these few items. I would have looked harder to get the exact recipe items which I like to do. So definitely if you can get a hold of red chilies or even lemongrass. If not, find what you can find. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get right into the recipe. Okay, so you are wanting to get a large to medium bowl. And what we are going to do is just take these out completely. And you can get any type of sausage for this. I just chose like the sausage links. But I'm going to take out the... <coughs> outer casing of this. We're not going to reform these in casings because I'm not going to go out of my way to find whatever vegan sausage casings you can find and deal with the hassle of all of that. But if you guys want to do that, go right ahead. There's plenty of tutorials out there on how to do it, I'm pretty sure. But we're going to go simple and easy. Maybe I should have gotten just a different type of sausage, maybe sausage patties instead. I didn't know they were in this casing in general. Okay, since I do have a small amount of sausage and a lot of the recipes they use like a pound of something or two pounds of pork or however much, I am going to estimate on how much I need to add to this. So we are going to start with the filling the shallots. Oh, I'm a mess. The shallots, we're going to do three shallots. We're going to do two tablespoons of the lemon grass. And then we are going to do six 11 or 6 kefir lemon leaves. I really have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, but when I did go into the store and ask for them, it sh I think she pronounced them the same way. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll do two whole chilies. So I'm going to do two of those. We are going to do one teaspoon of chopped garlic and then two teaspoons of salt. A 
about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of ground pepper. And all of these either need to be finely chopped or put into a food processor or blender. It smells really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of that to my sausage. And I'm just going to scrape as much as I can out of this because the more, the more flavor. You can always double this recipe. This is just experimental for me. So I'm pretty much estimating everything. I might add more salt. Maybe not. It's pretty salty. And I feel like a lot of vegan um, meats, like the processed vegan meats, are already have a lot of sodium in them usually. So I don't want to add too much. I kind of want to mask the flavor more. Okay. Just to be safe, I'm going to add another shallot. Just because I do feel like vegan meat isn't very... flavorful. Like when you think of like sausage, you think greasy, salty, flavorful, especially Lao sausage I feel has a lot of flavor in it. Another teaspoon of minced garlic. A teaspoon of lemongrass. So maybe two more leaves. A dash of salt. We don't want to add too much salt. And depending on your spice preference, you may or may not want to add more Thai chili to this. But I love extremely spicy food, so I'm going to add it anyways and just chop, add a little bit of water to this. Chop what I have in here and then continue to add it to the sausage. I'm adding that to it. Because I do want to mask the Italian sausage flavor to it, even though some of these will call for basil and mint leaves sometimes, but I'm not adding that because I did end up getting the Italian sausage, but if you do find it, I would probably add like two basil leaves or a little bit of dried basil. Oh, my eyes are burning. The mix of like all the Thai chilies and all, oh, blending those up is no fun. Okay, incorporating it all in. Okay, so this is what we are working with. Everything's mixed in there really nice. You aren't going to see my whole face, but I kind of just want to show you guys what I'm doing. We'll just get out a little bit. And these are kind of wet. I tried not to add too much water, but I'm just going to shape them into little mini fat sausages. And then the pan is heating so that way we can just throw these on there without having to worry about waiting for the pan to heat up. Breaking to so be very gentle. 
So I went ahead and threw some mushrooms and some vegan butter and normally I would add a bell pepper to this but I have none at the moment and the sausages are cooking in just as I predicted. Look at them. Definitely falling apart. I knew they weren't going to stay together. But next time I might even use like an egg binder. everything on it and it actually tastes like Lao sausage I would add less salt next time and maybe try to add a binder so that they actually hold together without crumbling apart but at the same time it's still good either way so I'm actually pretty proud with this so I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of everything put together and see how it tastes Gotta get the mushroom, the sausage, rice. Mm. That's actually really good. I don't really experiment with a lot of vegan meats. I have been experimenting with tofu and other things to try to make like chicken but usually like the meats I'll just do something basic when we have frozen meatballs I usually do veggie burgers or like the beyond beef burgers but I've never tried to make anything with it so this was completely new and experimental for me I definitely think that you guys should try it and I would add like a sauce or anything to it as well I have this Thai chili like any type of sauce, like a jalapeno sauce, like a, even a sweet sauce, like do it up, but definitely really, really good. Um, I definitely feel like that satisfies my craving. The texture is a little off, but so is a lot of vegan meat, but if you have an alternative vegan meat, that you love to use and you love the texture of and you think would be great for this recipe then leave a comment below and I definitely will try it because I am going to be making this again today's video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more recipe videos like this I like to experiment a lot in the kitchen or show you guys recipes that I try to live by mainly vegetarian or vegan recipes is what I like to